Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to give you a break from actually staring at me and let you look at the rain like I am. Hey, Earth is a noisy place. Honking hordes in the city and bleeding animals in the country, chirping birds in the suburbs and gunfire and sirens downtown. Radio, TV, social media, billboards, print ads, all scream at you from the highways to the living room. Commercials and infomercials, it never seems to end. It goes on and on and on. You go to church on Sunday and maybe you learn something. Maybe you feel like you're being verbally assaulted. It depends on your pastor or your preacher or priest, right? I'm blessed to attend a church with a real good pastor, a man who is genuinely after God's heart like King David was. Rick is a very real guy. I love the church family that I have at Crossroads. Participating in things there is more like hanging out with family members you choose, and because of that, their ideas and points of view often cut through all of the noise in the world, and influence me and my decisions more heavily than several outside influences do. I choose to be around this family because we are also supportive of each other and have some big common goals and ideas. I've heard motivational gurus like Tony Robbins and Tim Ferriss quote a guy named Jim Rohn when he said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I'm not sure that I quite buy that, because I have two that I'm physically with daily, my wife and my son, and on any given day it's a toss-up as to who else I will physically be around. Also, I have a relationship with Christ, so that is three people. Still leaves a gap of two people if I'm being intentional about crafting the person I want to be, right? I'm not planning on slowing down anytime soon. In fact, I'm picking up the pace, a lot. So how do I possibly spend time with two more people to modify my knowledge and habits and personality? Now, if I factor in the people outside of my circle that I allow to influence me by consuming their regular content, well, now we may be onto something. I have friends that read Oswald Chambers or other daily devotionals, sorry to use the word, they read them religiously. I know others that hang on the every word of their favorite televangelist. I can definitely see the influence of either one of these, and probably even guess the source when I get to know somebody new. Here's the thing, working all the time makes you pretty lonely and pretty dull. Social media can help a bit, but there is so much negativity out there, you really need to audit your friends. For probably most of history, bored, lonely kids made up imaginary friends when there was nobody good to play with, or nobody at all. So for some unknown reason, mine was named Mrs. Kabuki. That's just a side note. Now, I already know what a friend we have in Jesus, so please spare me any preach back. This is true and accurate, and he'd better be your number one in your friend slots, or you're going to have big problems down the road. So, back to filling in my other two friend slots. I have my buddy Tim, my buddy Chuck, my buddy Chris, my buddy Bill, and my buddy Kevin. But sometimes I go days, weeks, months, and sometimes even years without seeing them. We already mirror each other when we're together, so what can I bring to the table that is new? I interact only occasionally with literally dozens of other friends too. Busy, busy, busy. I have several co-workers who are pretty cool. But remember, I'm friend slot shopping here, not trying to be blown about by chance, like a leaf on the wind. So, I decided I would start researching influencers, people who have intentionally learned, but have also done, and are in the process of giving back. I don't need to reinvent the wheel, I just need to make sure the wheels I have are all well balanced and high speed, the best I can afford. I know that I don't want to be influenced by imaginary friends, I'm a little bit old for that, and I know that I cannot avoid being influenced by what I watch or listen to. Because of that, I'm going to give credit where credit is due to probably my favorite YouTuber and interviewer who is in the process of doing all three things at the same time, learning and teaching and serving. Kelsey Humphreys runs an online show called The Pursuit at thepursuit.tv. Check it out. Honestly, I don't even remember how I found Kelsey online. It was purely by accident, I'm sure, back in January or February of this year. Watching her push forward towards her dreams, helping others along the way, and getting FaceTime with some of the most currently relevant influencers out there is nothing short of amazing. I've watched every clip and interview she's done, and in doing so, I feel like I've been introduced to these people, and what they're about, and where they're coming from. This is helping me immensely with my friend shopping. I can put Kelsey on while I work, or listen while I drive, and if I like what I hear from someone, I can follow them online and learn more, or buy one of their books. If they seem to have evil, stupid, harmful, or unscriptural ideas, I can watch the interview until the end, make notes to myself on why I'm disregarding parts or all of their philosophy, and move on. In many ways, this is less painful than larger family reunions I've attended in the past or heard about from others. 
I don't agree with any modern influencer 100%. I've seen pretty godly people or allegedly godly people divorce their spouse and ruin their families out of pure selfishness. I've seen media moguls driven to, uh, by a desire to own stuff. And I've seen people who, on further re research, almost come across as bat guano insane as they appear. What Kelsey provides for me is a pure service, something that I can watch and decide what needs further research, who I deem more valuable to devote my resources to learning from, and what things I might be doing or considering that are really wasting my time and resources. Without Kelsey, I may never have looked up Gary Vaynerchuk and several others that I've learned valuable things from. I owe her a big public thank you, and Kelsey, this is it. Thank you. Please keep being you. I'm pretty sure whatever I actually, whether I ever actually meet you in person or not, that since I chose to start with watching new episodes of The Pursuit over so many other things that are out there, that you've landed my number four slot. Your recovery story alone is awesome, but the rest of what you do is just as amazing. Keep up the good work. Yes, Gary V, JLD, and Pat Flynn get watched after Kelsey's content. Right now, I have no leading candidate for slot number five. But as I tear through these influencers, it's occurring to me that perhaps I should at least plan to make a page where I cover what my impressions of them are and my opinion as to the good, bad, and ugly of the secular people that are influencing the world. Why? These are the people that could directly or indirectly influence my children when I am not around to censor what they see. Already Eli's quoting YouTube gamers and wanting to tell me about the latest thing that Coral discovered. I believe that as a parent, I need to step up my game. For my family, and it sounds corny, but for my impact on the world. While I can feed my spirit directly out of the word and do so, I need to be able to relate to the world we live in. Without doing so, I'm failing in the Great Commission because nobody will want to hear good news from an uneducated, out of touch ignoramus. There are already plenty of people out there that will tell you what you should think of preachers and evangelists on TV and why you should think like they do. So, I will very likely just leave Joyce Meyer and Joel Austin alone completely. Do you want to be inspired? Leave this page and go pick an episode of The Pursuit at thepursuit.tv. If you don't like the influencer being interviewed, pick another one. You can learn very quickly who's shaping the world outside of the kingdom. But more importantly, you will learn about the influential people that you should be praying for and influencing right back because you can. Go do it now.